Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a favorite purchases of 2021 video. I know it is February now, so this is pretty delayed. I was a little hesitant to do this video just because I'm nervous a lot of this stuff's going to be out of stock and just not available right now. Um, so I'll do my best to like everything down below or at least put the name of what everything is so that if it does restock in the future, you can try and search it. Um, but some people did request this, so I figured let's just make this video. Um, so to start off, I guess let's start off with favorites from Abercrombie. So I might, I think I might group some of it like that, like Abercrombie and Aritzia. I feel like I got a lot of stuff last year that I really liked. So we'll start off with that. From Abercrombie, first I got this bodysuit. I really like it. It's my favorite bodysuit from them. I have a lot of bodysuits from Aritzia and stuff too, but this I think is my favorite, just the way it fits and like the shape of it. So it's just a very um, like stretchy, soft material. And the neckline is just my favorite type of neckline here. Like I don't really have to wear a bra or anything with it. It just fits perfectly. This is a size small. And I just tucked it into sweats here. But yeah, I really like this bodysuit. So hopefully they still have this one because it looks good with sweats or even or jeans, you know, and can be dressed up or down with a skirt or something too. So this is a really good favorite from Abercrombie. And then this summer I wore this dress a ton. So it's probably not like on the site now because it's, you know, summery, but this dress specifically, I wear so much just like all throughout the summer because it's so comfortable and it's like a nice midi length and it just shapes your body so nicely. There's slits at the side and it looks so good with just a pair of brown sandals and yeah, it just like fits so nicely. The only thing is the straps were really loose, so I did have to get them tailored to make it tighter or else it just kind of kept falling down because it does stretch out a little bit. But honestly, totally worth it because I got so much use out of it this summer. So I really like this dress. I think they might also have it in black too. And then lastly from Abercrombie, I got a ton of jeans this year. Um, but I narrowed it down to I think what my favorite pair of jeans I got from them are. And it's these ones. They are just a blue wash. There's no rips on the front. However, the bottom does have a slit at the side of the pants. So in Abercrombie jeans, I, jeans, I size down to 26. I'm usually a size like 27 in jeans. For Abercrombie, I get a 26. And yeah, I like these ones just because the slit does show off your, any shoes you're wearing, whether that be sneakers or heels. And I feel like this jean can be dressed up or down with sneakers or heels. So I really like these pair of jeans from Abercrombie. And I do have other jeans that are my favorites which I guess I'll just get into now because that was everything from Abercrombie. So my other jeans are a gold day jeans. I discovered them this year and I really like them. I wore them so much this summer. I got them before any of my Abercrombie jeans. So I really wore them a lot. Um, they're, I got two different styles, which were necessary because I wore them for different things. So first are these ones. They're the cherries, I think. Obviously I'm gonna link them, but these are straight leg. I did have to size down on these to a 26 because the 27 looked a little too baggy and like awkward being straight leg. But these ones fit really nicely and I actually like dressing these up a lot. So I wore these with heels and just like a crop top or whatever kind of thing you're wanting to wear. You know, I just wore these a lot. and. I'm gonna put a picture here of the outfit I wore it with, which are strappy heels, which is also my favorite, so I'll show you, and a top I got from Revolve, which I'll link, and that was also a really good purchase. Um, I wanna put in this video, but it is very expensive for just one top, but honestly, I really like it, and I always feel so good in it, and it's just like, just like so, such a different type of top too, and I just get so many compliments when I wear it, so I really like that. And then the second pair of jeans from a gold day are the Riley jeans I got here. So these ones, I did have to get a 27. And I also did get these ones in a different wash and they're super tight. So definitely size, yeah, you might want to size up in these jeans depending on the wash. But these ones are different because these ones are more of a shorter length. So a little bit more like casual. So I'll put a picture here of me at the bar wearing these jeans. So these jeans I wore a lot to the bar. And the other one I wore a lot like if I was, you know, trying to be a little bit dressier and going out for the night. So they're just like two different vibes, these jeans, and I really liked wearing both of them. Okay, let's stick with pants. So I got these lounge pants. They're the twist pants from Skims. I first got the ones in gray, and I liked them so much I got them in black. And honestly, I probably only need the black because those ones I just wear a ton. 
oh, way more than I do the gray because the gray is a little bit sheer. So it's not something you really want to wear like out and about, but they're really good for lounging. But these are so comfortable and like so stretchy and they just literally feel like you're wearing nothing. Like people say that about aligns, but really these pants feel like you're wearing nothing. So they're so thin, like definitely not for working out or anything. They're just really for lounging. And I just wore this like every single day. I feel like ever since I got them, it's just like the most comfortable thing. And I wore them on a plane and that's just like, they're so comfortable. So these pants and then this sweatshirt, I kind of feel bad putting this thing because it's an expensive sweatshirt. And I was like really hesitant to get it because it was so expensive. I got it off of StockX, but honestly, you know, if it's so expensive, if you're wearing it a lot, it makes it worth it. So that's how I felt about this sweatshirt. You know, it's just an all black sweatshirt. I got this one in a size medium, I believe. Yeah, so this is a size medium. So I literally wore this sweatshirt and these skims pants like every single day for like weeks straight. I feel like just working from home. This is just so big and so comfortable. And it's just like the perfect amount of heaviness and just like the perfect amount of oversized. And it's all black. And I just like... You just always feel so good in this sweatshirt, whether you're at home or going to run errands or something. Um, this is definitely like my favorite, favorite sweatshirt. So definitely worth the money for that. Now let's go over a few beauty products before going back into clothes. So I purchased Babyless products last year and I really like them. So I first, I had a straightener that was like a $30 straightener from Amazon that was like pretty thin and just like wasn't the best for my hair. This one i feel so much better using it is thicker plates so you know you're able to straighten more hair so it just makes it so much faster and it just heats up so well and it just glides so nice nicely on your hair so definitely recommend this straightener i think this is the one and a quarter that i got and then same with this this is the one and a quarter curler i really like this too it just again glides so nicely on your hair so the i don't know there's just like really good quality and my hairdresser even says these last forever so really like these products from babyless if you're looking for a new straightener or curler um i just really like the way these glide on your hair okay now i'm not much of a beauty guru i don't know much about makeup but i do really like these products that i bought last year so for the longest time, I was using Too Faced um, foundation, which I really liked. However, I really like this Huda Beauty one. And like ever since I bought this foundation, I have not gone back to it. And I just really like it to stick. So I'll just like go like this and then I'll just rub it in with a beauty blender. Um, and this is in the shade Latte, which is 300N. And it matches like my tan, like when I self tan, it matches that pretty well. So. I really like the way this blends in. It just looks so smooth. It's not too thick or like you can't really see it, you know, it just like blends in so well. So I really like this product. And then this bronzer by Hourglass, it's a radiant, it's the ambient lighting bronzer, radiant bronze light. <laughs> and this is what it looks like. It's just so pretty. And I don't use this as like my only bronzer. I actually put on a lot of bronzer I put on a stick you know to contour and then i after i contour with with hula right that, that's what it's called like the bronzer um powder and then i put this on with a big hourglass brush and i just put it like kind of all over my forehead and my cheeks and like down here and it just makes it like a lot more glowy um that's like the perfect way to describe it it's just like a glowy bronzer to add as like a finishing to your bronzing routine it just like you'll see it like right away it just like makes you more bronze and glowy. Right, I'm gonna throw in a random favorite purchase, but it was earlier in the year. I was making something in my blender and it ended up getting, like breaking my blender. So I had to get a new one. And you'll probably see me talk about this in my vlogs a lot because I use my blender like every day. But I really like the blender I ended up getting. It's a Ninja. It's like not as expensive as a Vitamix or something, but you get so much out of it. You get a big, a big blender and then a smaller one for shakes and then another small one to make acai bowls or protein frosties if you if you follow me on instagram you see that i make protein frosties a lot which is just so good so real quick i'm going to go over and show you my blender so it comes with all these things this is the ninja foodie it comes with the big blender sorry i know it's like really dirty and dusty and then it comes with this to make to make protein shakes and then it also comes with this this is what i make acai bowls or my protein frosty in because when you put the attachment on top and put it here 
Then it has um, options here, which you can't see. It has to like turn on. But there's an option for a smoothie or for a bowl. And so when it's going, you turn this and this ends up turning. So then you can like, there's ideally like a lot of frozen food in there. So it's sometimes hard to blend that. So this helps to blend that top. But yeah, I don't know. There's just like all these attachments and we use all of them. So it's just like a really good deal and it works really well. All right, now let's talk about shoes. I have a pair of sneakers and heels to talk about as my favorites that I purchased last year. So right here are Nike Dunks and specifically this color. I just love it so much. I'm so happy I got these. These are a size eight, which is the size I wear in Nike. That's the size I have in Air Force Ones as well. And I just ended up wearing these so much. Like it's something I didn't realize I needed until I got them. And I just really grabbed these a ton. And this colorway is just so good because I ended up wearing a lot of black this year, especially like black with like jeans and these look so good or black leggings, you know, whatever you're wearing. I feel like these just, or leather pants, these just go so well with so many things and just really makes you look like cool with your outfit, you know, <laughs> rather than just wearing like ultra boots or something. These just like are such a statement, but yet they're so like not too crazy. Like I feel like these, you know, will are kind of timeless because they're black and white. So I really like these sneakers. Um, I had to get these off of GOAT, so I'll link them on GOAT and StockX, but I actually do know that they, they have restocked recently, so just look out for that. And then I wore these heels so much. So again, this was in the picture I showed earlier, but I just ended up wearing this these heels so much throughout the summer with like everything, like jeans, dresses, like skirts, you know, these go with so much. They can be casual or they can be dressy because they're strappy and they're the perfect height. I hate wearing high heels and these are like under three inches really. So they're just the perfect height here. And these I got an eight and a half, which is my true size. I usually wear in heels and they're so comfortable, like not a single complaint around these and they're not expensive either for heels. So naturally I had to end up getting them in black too because once the winter came, I was like, I can't really be wearing white so I actually wear these black ones a lot, even though they're open toed with like leather pants or jeans um, or whatever it is. So again, these heels are just a must. They also have a nude one too that I was considering getting. So maybe next year I will. Um, so I don't know if they're in stock right now, but definitely love these heels so much. So if they're not like in stock, I'll try finding the name and putting them down below just so that you can search them if you need to. And then last pair of shoes here are a pair of closed toed ones I wore during the holidays. I don't have any heels like these and I just love them so much. They're from Schutz and these in Schutz, Schutz pumps, I have to size up to an eight. I have heels from them that I love. I got years ago. It's like the nude Ariel ones, I think they're called, but they're nude with like clear straps on them and I wear them a ton because they're so comfortable but I also wanted to get closed hood ones to wear during like Christmas time and I love them so much. They're just so pretty. And again, they're three inches. So these are actually higher than these ones, but they're not still not too high. They're the perfect height and they look good with like stockings or no stockings. And um, these were actually really hard to get because they were sold out. So I was like stocking Nordstrom site until I saw that they like restock suddenly. And yeah, oh, I love them so much. They're so pretty. Also, I forgot that I purchased these sandals last year and I really like them. They're so comfortable. I believe these are Sam Edelman, a size eight and a half. So I'll definitely link these sandals, but I wore them so much. I wore them on our honeymoon. We went to Italy and Paris and they were so comfortable to walk around in and they're so stylish and go with a lot of different outfits. And this color also matches like everything. So really like these sandals. Okay, lastly, I'm gonna go over some Aritzia favorites that I got last year. I mean, there's definitely a ton of stuff. I narrowed it down to a few that I ended up wearing a lot because there are a lot of lounge stuff. But actually, before I go into those, there are just a lot of outfits I wore on my honeymoon that I wanted to put as a favorite. So I'll throw in some pictures here of like some of my favorite outfits. But I do have honeymoon vlogs that you can go to where I linked all these outfits to. So if you need any inspiration for your honeymoon or if you're going on vacation, definitely look into that. I'm very happy I spent the time like looking to find stuff I really felt good in to wear my honeymoon because I just loved all those outfits. And a lot of them, you know, I will wear for a lot more years into weddings and stuff too. So they were definitely worth it because they're pricier because they're from Revolve and Aritzia and stuff like that. But 
I just felt so good in them and they fit so well and it's definitely worth putting your money into like quality items like that um that you feel good in on vacation so definitely check those out those vlogs out if you want to see those outfits more um but to finish it off let's go over some Aritzia ones so first is this dress from Aritzia so between the white Abercrombie dress and this black dress I just wore them so much they just it's a similar style the Aritzia one is a different um material it's like it's still a ribbed material like the Abercrombie one but it's not like a sweater kind of material like the other one was kind of sweaterish sweatery-ish <laughs> And um, the, this has adjustable straps, the Abercrombie one didn't, but similar vibes, it's like a similar length and it can be dressed up or dressed down and just fits so well. And again, you don't have to wear a bra with it or anything. I just, I really like these. So those I wore so much this summer. Um, and then also from Aritzia are the sweats I'm wearing. I ended up wearing them a lot too. They're just so comfortable. They're definitely like really baggy, but I liked that vibe too. So I'll show you these sweats. Okay, so these are really baggy. They're like the mega oversized ones in tall. So I can roll them up. You can see like I got a lot of fake tan on the waistband because I wear them so much. But yeah, these are a size small and they're really oversized and they're just so comfortable. So if you're working from home or something, these are just really good sweats to lounge in. They're so soft and comfortable. Um, yeah, they still look cute when you go out like to run errands if you wear Air Force ones with them or something. And yeah, I just really like these sweats. Okay, and then also from Aritzia is this coat, which you'll probably see in my re recent Aritzia haul. So this is a super puff and extra small in the stone coat color, and I like it so much. I you know, ended up wearing it a ton this winter. It is like the perfect color because it can be dressed up or dressed down, and it just really looks good with your outfit, but it's so warm, and it's the long version. And definitely size down. I'm usually small, but size down to an extra small that fits perfectly. There's plenty of room here to fit sweatshirts in. And yeah, I really like this coat. This was totally worth the money. I also got this shorty in black super puff, which I do really like. But if I had to choose this one, I definitely get a lot more use out of because you know it gets pretty cold. And like I said, it can be dressed up or down, so I'll wear it to work and stuff. And yeah, I really like this jacket. So definitely worth the investment okay and then also from Aritzia is this is the boxy zip up I have in two colors right now and the black one is if you were to get one definitely get the black as your first one and then you can get different colors but the black one I just wear so much uh, it's just such a staple item because it's like just like like the perfect zip up it comes to like the perfect length here and it's the perfect size it's a size small very true to size and yeah these zip ups are just so cute um you can wear them out or you could just wear them running errands and i think they're just definitely a staple okay so last out i'm gonna do like a whole outfit actually i feel like i wore this a lot last summer it's all from aritzia and it's just like the perfect lounge outfit but also really good for like going out to run errands and stuff and it's really hard to find shorts that you can wear like just all day and turn errands and aren't too short or anything so i'm just going to put this outfit right on for you and i will show you all right here was the last outfit i just feel like i got so much use out of this year it was like the one outfit i wanted to pull out every day after i showered in the summer because it's just so comfortable so this is the five inch Wilfred, Wilfred Free Terry shorts in size small. So I feel like I don't have them on the site right now, but I'll definitely leave the name down below so that when it comes closer to the summer, hopefully they restock. It's just like the perfect length here and they're just so comfortable and like the waistband fits so perfectly where it's not too tight. I ended up getting them in the second color too, but this Heather Cloud Gray color is just so nice. And yeah, I just like love this color so much. And I paired it with the um, tank from Aritzia too. And this is the Wilfred Free Tiny Tank in size small. So I got it in black and white and I just wore them so much this summer because you don't have to wear a bra with it. And it just like has really cute dainty straps. Like, this is what it looks like in the back. And it comes to the perfect cropped length. So you could wear this like out with jeans um, or with a skirt or just casual, casually like with so many things. So I definitely love this top so much. Um, it just fits so well. And then lastly, I'm wearing the boyfriend zip up, which I really like too. I have this in white as well. 
but this gray color is just really the best color I want it in like the boxy zip up as well but this just goes so well with this outfit and then just with a lot of things too like I said on the plane I recently wore the skims pants with a tank and this and it's just so comfortable and this is a size let's see this is a size two so size two is perfect because it's like the perfect amount of oversized and okay so that is it for my favorites of 2021 um, definitely a lot of lounge stuff and some jeans, like pretty predictable stuff, I guess, but I hope I gave you some ideas for some staple items. I tried to pick items that I really thought were like staple because to me, these are stuff I wear all the time and can be worn for so many different occasions. But if you have any questions, leave them down below. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.